Hi everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at this A2337 MacBook Air that came with the client complaint of no power. However, the first thing I noticed when I opened it is the keyboard backlight was on and I had caps lock. So it, that's not really a no power issue. It's probably a more of a no image, no backlight type issue. So first thing we need to do, we need to see if we have backlight or we see if we have image. So these retina machines pretty much anything 2015 and newer is pretty hard to see if you have um, image uh, when you have a backlight issue just due to the design of the screen so the first thing you're going to want to do wipe off your screen really good and then put it um, to use your phone camera microscope camera something along those sorts to see if we have image on the screen all right and with the device booted up it does not appear like we have image although it is kind of hard to tell so we won't really we don't really know for sure but it does not look like we have image on this screen now the machine does boot but it looks like there's just no image so in a situation like this we have to keep in mind that one it's pretty hard to see keyboard backlight not keyboard backlight but screen backlight in these models um, sorry screen image uh, when there's no backlight so the very first thing I want to do I definitely want to rule out a possibility of a backlight issue so that's first and foremost and it's more common that you will have image but not see it and have an issue on backlight than it is for you to have another like a, a short uh, on, on a, like an image power rail. With that being said, we're also going to want to check um, our 5V SW LCD lines. Um, it looks like this only shows up on the other side of the board, so that's a little bit tricky. We just want to check that, make sure it's not shorted. Um, it is enabled by the CPU, so our CPU is not going to tell uh, power to come here unless it has communication with the screen. Um, so that is important to note. But the first thing I want to do is honestly, I just want to check and see if um, we if there's anything going on on backlight output because I've seen enough of these cases that I know that you know it's pretty common for you know us to have a backlight issue and we just can't see the image because the the design of these screens is just so hard to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this board out and we're gonna have a look at our um, image circuit and then we are going to check around on backlight output and also. I actually want to point something out. I want to check for a short on backlight output just briefly and see what we get here. Because if it's shorted, it's also important that I let you guys know, always unplug your screen to see if it's still shorted because a lot of times the screen will actually be shorted and it'll be mimicking a board issue. So I'm going to check backlight output for short to ground here. Um, we're in a tone mode so you guys can hear it. So this is our ground side, 0.35. And our other side is 3.98 ohms to ground. That is way too low for a line that handles 50 volts. So in something like this, I'm going to unplug the screen. So I'm going to take off our connector. And I'm going to see if the short is still there. If the short is still there, then we have confirmed a board issue. So like I said, we could not see image on this. But it looks like we do have a short on backlight output. So let's see again. All right, and with the screen unplugged, look at that. This device has a bad screen. So that's really important to note before just jumping the gun and saying, hey, I need to um, you know, pull my board out and look for a short that's not there. You need to make sure it's not your screen. So this device has a bad screen. That's pretty much all to say about it. Um, and that explains why we didn't have image and no backlight. But very important to check um, to make sure that you don't have a short on your screen uh, when it is a backlight issue. With that being said, look at that. Something got toasty right there on the screen. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and get this shield off. Connector and cable look just fine, so our issue is probably going to be under the shield. All right, so we got the screen shield off. Now this, the shield removal, it's such a pain no matter which way we do it. The, it's a pain either way, and frankly, if I post that, there's just going to be nonsense comments. Oh, you don't know what you're doing. Do it this way, this and that. No, there's no easy way to do it. It sucks any way you try and do it. It is not fun. Um, but anyway, the shield is off, and we can see here clearly we have a problem. This is one of our backlight drivers on the screen. The screen actually has its own backlight driver as well. Um, and you see here that we have a corroded capacitor, a couple corroded capacitors. And that just fell off, right? You see that? And it looks almost like we might have an internal short here. It doesn't look pretty, that's for sure. Eh. Yeah. That doesn't look too good. That's not, that's, yeah, this has seen better days. But I wonder if we can dig this just for fun. Let's just do this just for fun. This internal short and see if it works. And I don't think it will, but you know what? Why not? In the name of science. Let's see. 
never done a short resection on a screen before. Should be interesting. Okay, that's clear on that side. I'm just going to clear this side. Look how hot that copper got. Get this guy out of here. It's in our way. Still have one cap on that line. Just fine. Almost at the edge of it. Still pretty deep in this little PCB. It's probably going to be about as good as it's going to get. Um, we don't have a lot of room to work with on this, but maybe a little bit right here. It's a tiny bit. Actually, let me get some more acetone. Come so it's submerged and so I can see. I like this little spot I don't like. Here I don't like either. That looks good. A little more around here. Some more of this here. As good as it's going to get, I think. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see if our short is gone, and let's see if we get image. That would be a fun one if we got image, wouldn't it? Plug this uh, connector back in. We're either going to get image or we're going to get fire. 